We're now viewing all the orders which are ready to ship. Your order management page retains the functionality you've known from the past, but pulls it together with a cleaner presentation consistent with the rest of Seller Hub. You could instead see a view of all orders, those awaiting payments, or paid and shipped by either clicking the links in the navigation pane, or you can use the status filter dropdown. Speaking of filters, you can also choose to see your orders over different time periods, such as the last 24 hours, and then click search to see the filtered results. When you modify the time period selection, your setting will be remembered next time you come to Seller Hub. To be sure you're not missing any orders, we recommend using all or last 90 days. You can also search your orders by buyer username, item ID, and more. Moving down to the list of orders, just click a column header to sort the orders by that particular column. Not seeing the information you need? Just click the Customize link at the top of the page to show, hide, or reorder columns to best meet your needs. Now, sellers tell us speed is paramount when processing orders, so we've made it faster to take action on any order by clicking the prominent links on the left. Choose an action from the dropdown, or select multiple orders to take actions in bulk, such as printing labels, leaving feedback, or downloading your orders into a comma-separated file. Lastly, the record number is a way for you to uniquely identify each order. Clicking on the record number provides more order details, such as the buyer's full name and shipping address. Now, with your shipping labels printed and boxes waiting for pickup by your shipping service, you turn your attention to processing the cancellations that were also called out in a notification on the Overview tab. Buyers have a short time after making a purchase to request a cancellation, which would appear here, awaiting your response. Click See Details to respond to the request. On the Manage Cancellations page, you can also see cancellations that are in progress and past canceled orders. As on the other pages, you can narrow the results using the filters at the top of the page. Sellers have asked for help managing returns to enable them to offer best-of-class customer service. To aid that, we built a newly designed returns management page. We have more nuanced seller levels than in the past, so you can truly monitor the returns throughout the process. This status is paired with due dates, so you know instantly where you need to focus, such as clicking See Details to accept this return request. Next, click Cases to head to the Resolution Center. Should you find yourself needing to cancel a transaction, respond to a buyer complaint, or similar situation. From here, you can create new cases or take action on any existing ones. Let's return now to the Seller Hub overview, which we can easily do from anywhere in eBay by clicking My eBay in the header and then selecting Selling from the flyout menu. With orders and returns all processed, it's time to look forward to new inventory. Those smartphones that arrived yesterday won't do any good just sitting on your shelf. Let's get them listed for sale. For that, we'll head to Listings, which we can do either from the tabs on top or by clicking within the Listings module on the Seller Hub Overview. You first notice the updated Listing Management page, which again matches the simple, clean design. Similar to the experience on the Orders tab, you can filter your listings by several freeform fields. Category, Status, Format, or for more flexible searching, View Advanced Search Options, where you can search virtually any field of your listing. Click Basic Search to return to the simple view. Now, let's get those smartphones listed by clicking the Create Listing button. We've built a new streamlined page optimized for listing single items. You can finish a draft you started earlier, view still more drafts, or just create a new listing. Start by typing a title, UPC, or MPN, which instantly searches for matching items to use as a base for your listing. Selecting the matching model brings us to the main input form, where all required fields except price are pre-filled, based on similar listings and the seller's preferences from past listings. Sellers remain in control to edit as needed or simply add price. Scroll down, click List, and you're done. 
This new flow reduces the previous flow of six pages down to just three. That includes this success page, enabling you to list quickly and move on with other activities. Now, over to view our unsold listings, where we can easily relist ended listings that haven't sold. The drafts page allows completing, updating, or deleting any in-progress listings. Scheduled listings enable sellers to set a specific time a listing will go live, which is particularly useful for controlling the optimal ending time for auctions. Ended listings presents all ended listings, whether they sold or not, making it the place to go when you want to sell a similar listing or you have newly available inventory for a listing that previously sold out. With our products all listed on the site, you begin considering what optimizations you can make to increase sales. For that, let's head back to the Overview tab. Let's highlight a couple more elements aimed at helping you analyze and improve business health. A solid seller level gives shoppers confidence, but sellers have told us managing their seller level is too difficult. Well, now it has never been easier. With our new module expressing your current seller level, illustrating your projected level in the upcoming monthly evaluation period, and representing how it was computed. More details on any aspect of this are just a click away. We can now drill into any particular element, such as understanding the impact of these two transactions that led to defects. Or even clicking Get Full Report to view the actual transactions in detail. Returning to the overview page, we also see a summary of recent daily sales totals and recommendations for opportunities to increase sales.